Gitam for uh, the intro. I'm Mehdi Head of Care. I'm a co-founder and CTO of uh, PunchLab. I have my a co-founder co in uh, Palo Alto right now, making sure everything's going to run smoothly for me uh, uh, during the demo. Um, oops. So we are uh, PunchLab. Uh, we like to call PunchLab a multi-channel incentives and engagement uh, platform. What this means, means I'm not going to give you uh, the French translation, but I'm trying, going to try to uh, give you the English uh, version. It's basically we allow blogs, businesses, uh, brands, or agencies to um, build loyalty programs, rewards programs, campaigns, giveaways that are going to engage their users, their customers, wherever they are on multiple channels. So it could be on the website, it could be on Facebook, on Twitter, any social network, or it could be uh, also offline. If, if you have a store, we'll actually be able to uh, make sure your users are engaged in the store. Uh, we also uh, have plugins for e-commerce shops, so if you have an e-commerce uh, platform, we'll be able to make sure uh, we engage your users uh, there. Um, we've been around since uh, early 2011. Um, we, uh, we uh, got funding from uh, More Davido, from Crunch Fund, from uh, Social Plus Capital, and uh, also the guys from uh, Cosmix, uh, uh, which uh, people from AWS probably uh, would know. Um, so we've been around for a little bit of time, and, and uh, we are running over 13,000 live loyalty programs right now. Uh, that reaches over 20 million users every month. Uh, and we also have over a thousand giveaways running every month. So we're actually gather gathering a lot of data with all those programs running. And uh, what we found out uh, is that a customer is going to be 2.5 times more likely to purchase from you if he's actually engaged in multiple channels. Um, I'll give you an example of that. If you have an e-commerce shop and uh, you've engaged with your customer on Facebook and Twitter, then there is a higher chance that your customer is going to buy from you. Uh, if you're a brand and uh, you have a customer that's following you on Instagram and is also, I don't know, tweeted about you or, or subscribed to your newsletter, then um, it's going to be uh, more likely to purchase from you. So this is why we actually think this is really important to engage your customers wherever they are on multiple channels. Um, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about how the current uh, product works before I'll tell you what we are launching today. So I don't know if there is a lot of engineers in, in the room. I know there was a lot more engineers earlier today. Um, this is going to make sense to them. Um, so you're going to go to punchtab.com. You're going to grab all of five lines of JavaScript code that you're going to paste on your website. And as soon as you do that, you're going to have a full loyalty program that's going to show up. Your users are going to be able to authenticate themselves if they don't already have an uh, authentication uh, uh, platform. Um, they're going to be able to start earning for showing up every day, for liking. So I, I don't know. For example, if you have a, a blog, they're going to be able to earn points for uh, liking a blog post, for tweeting about the blog post. Uh, if you have an e-commerce shop, they're going to be able to uh, earn points for purchasing uh, from, from uh, your shop. Um, if you have a community that you're trying to engage, you're going to be able to reward users for leaving comments, for participating, and uh, making sure that they actually uh, generate some content. Uh, so we have all those plugins we integrate based on the kind of websites that, that, that you have. Uh, with that, you also comes with a, a full catalog that we're going to be, we're going to be uh, managing for, for you. Uh, you can put any items in your catalog, and the users that have been earning points, they'll be able to redeem against any kind of offer that you put in your catalog. So we're helping you manage all that, and literally a five-minute install. So this is a product that we are running right now. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about a story that happened to us, uh, I'd say, in April uh, of this year. Arby's came to us, Arby's restaurant chain. You guys probably know it. And uh, they basically came to us and said, we love your platform. We lo love what you guys are doing. Um, we have a campaign that we're going to launch. It's about the pecan chicken salad sandwich. I don't know if you guys tried it. Sounds awesome. Um, so they had this campaign, national campaign. They had millions of dollars to spend on this campaign. And the kind of campaign that they would be able to do at that time on Facebook was this kind of campaign. So they would be able to get the first name from the user, the last name from the user, uh, an email address. And maybe, maybe they'll get, they'll get uh, the user to actually share on Facebook. right? So basically, two actions. Maybe they'll be able to get two actions out of uh, one of their 1.3 million user uh, fans on Facebook. So that's the kind of thing that they wanted to do. They had a million dollar campaigns, national campaigns, great sandwich. They had to do better than that. So we actually worked with them trying to find out uh, how we could do better. So we knew 
they were going to try to do uh, email marketing. So they wanted to grow their email list. We knew they wanted to do uh, something with their blogs, right? They have a blog. They put some content. They want to make sure that people are visiting and sharing stuff on their blog. Um, they also had mobile integration, everything. Mobile is big. Mobile is big. We got to do something in mobile. We were there as well. Uh, video, they, they created a video. And I want to make sure that it actually went viral. So we actually helped them do that. So this is the campaign that we came up with. Um, the Facebook fan page, um, a user would actually land on that. Um, they would be able to connect with Twitter and um, earn points for tweeting and retweeting with a specific hashtag. Okay? Uh, they would connect with Instagram, and then they would get points for taking a picture of the sandwich that they were eating. Right? Uh, they would actually connect with Foursquare and go to the shop, check in on Foursquare, and earn points for that. Right? So this was huge for them. Right? It's much different than the, the first version that I showed you earlier. Okay? Uh, we also managed the catalog for them. Uh, they put stuff that they already have in their inventory. So Pepsi t-shirt, RBC shirt, uh, some coupons. They even had some Amazon gift card. I didn't know that. Amazon gift card in the catalog right here. Um, so that was a huge success. Um, the result, um, they basically saw in one month, this was a campaign that ran one month on their Facebook fan page. In one month, they had the same uh, number of acquisitions that they usually get in six months. Okay. Uh, 40,000 uh, uh, entrants. Um, you remember when I told you about the average action per user for the first uh, campaign they were running was two. This time, seven. Seven actions per users uh, they got. Uh, they kickstarted their Instagram presence. Um, so they had nothing on Instagram. They had 8,000 Instagram uploads uh, within a month. Um, so everything was great. They were really happy with it. So what we decided to launch today is actually productize that specific campaign. We are actually building the tool, the marketing tools, for anyone in the world, any brands in the world, any agency in the world to launch such campaign by themselves. Okay? So the way it's going to work is basically you're going to go to punchtap.com, uh, configure your campaign, enter a campaign name, start date, end date. Uh, you're going to choose the kind of template that you want, right? Do you want to build engagement? Do you want to drive something? Do you want to drive people to do one specific thing? Or do you want to uh, engage a, a, a stale user base, right? If you have millions of users and most of them are actually not doing anything, you might want to do something a little bit different. So this is actually what I'm going to show you uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick demo of the, of the, of the platform and the product that, that we built. Like to switch to a demo? Here we go. So let's assume I already have a PunchTab account. Uh, I'm going to type my uh, campaign name. Here's a shout out to uh, Glacier, one of the products from AWS. Um, I'm, I can connect with Facebook. I'm not necessarily going to do that right now. I'm not sure how reliable the Wi Fi is. Uh, and then I can choose a start date, which is going to be, that's probably tomorrow. Oh. Uh, I'm going to choose an uh, end date, which is going to be at the end of the year, end of next month. Uh, continue, go to the next step. It's a really simple step-by-step -step, uh, uh, product. Then I'll choose which template I want to go with. Um, I'm going to go with the build template. Um, move forward to the next step. The build template is going to allow me to have uh, connect with Instagram, connect with uh, Twitter, and then a YouTube video that uh, are going to be reward enabled. People are going to get uh, points for watching the video, and they're going to get points for sharing the video as well. Then what I want to do is um, add developers and designers to my, to my uh, uh, campaign because uh, we're going to give you a default template, right? That's pretty good looking. You'll see it. But it's not necessarily tailored to what you are doing and the product that you're launching. So we'll give you access to, to, we'll give access to your developers. And we're doing that in a really interesting manner so that they can um, over, overwrite all their styles, make sure the look and feel is actually the same uh, as your product. So I'll invite myself, and I'll play the developer. Go to the next step. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have Instagram and Twitter hashtags, so I'll have to uh, define those. Glash here it is. And then the YouTube video, I'm not going to uh, enter it right now, but I can always edit it later. So that's it. I have a uh, campaign ready to go. Uh, I'm going to review it uh, first, making sure everything is good. So it's going to load. I'm on the Wi-Fi right now, slowly but surely. So here is my campaign. This is, uh, imagine this is going to run 
on Facebook, right? Uh, we don't uh, show it to you in, on Facebook while you're reviewing it so that you can focus on, on the design of what you are doing. Um, company header, um, sign up screen. I'm going to accept uh, the terms of, and condition. You can configure everything. And then this is what the campaign is going to look like. So I have a catalog here that I can configure on the administration interface. Uh, I have a tile here that I can, I can put whatever I want here. It's just a static tile. Uh, connect to, with Twitter and Instagram with the Glash here um, hashtags to earn points. Uh, invite a friend, follow us on Twitter and uh, the fan page. Uh, let's see, I have zero points right now. Let's, let, me, let me try to see if I can follow on Twitter and get some points. Here I got 100 points for just following on, on Twitter. And with those points, I could potentially go and, and uh, get something from the catalog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the develop, developer part of it. Uh, the way we uh, thought about the integration for, for the developers is wanted something really simple for the developers to hack. Uh, we didn't want them to learn any new tools. So what we've done is we are basically inviting the developer to a Dropbox folder uh, that's going to host all those HTML, all the CSS. It's getting a little bit technical here, but uh, basically the developer is going to get a Dropbox folder where he can go and do all these edits. So let's see what um, this folder looks like. Go in there, campaign two. This is the kind of folder that I'm going to see. So here I have all the files uh, that I'm going to be able to uh, uh, change in order to uh, override the look and feel of my uh, campaign. Um, so in this specific case, what I want to do is probably change the header and change the background color uh, just for it to look a little nicer and, and uh, that fits my product. So I'll go ahead and grab the campaign.css file, use my favorite editor. It's a geeky thing, but uh, I like to use Vim. Um, and then I have something ready for me here where I can overwrite the background color. And I can change probably uh, the banner here. I save it. The Dropbox logo here is going to sync. You just saw it sync. Push the files to the cloud, to the AWS servers. Uh, and then I'll be able to refresh my page and see what the campaign looks like right now. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, refresh my campaign. Right here. So I have a new uh, background. It's wood. It's texturized. Um, I have a new header. Uh, this could be the header of my company or the product or the sandwich, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, that I'm launching. And then um, I'm ready to go. So I can, do, uh, I can change basically anything on the template. We have a few widgets that you can change also. Change the number of points, change the hashtag, and things like that. Uh, your developer is going to be able to do all this, has full flexibility on, on changing that, thanks to uh, the flexibility of the AWS uh, platform. So that's pretty much it. Once it's done with that, uh, we'll just allow them to actually install it on their Facebook fan page and launch a multi-channel uh, incentives uh, campaign. Um, I'd like to switch back to uh, the slides now. Um, so we'd love to work with you. Um, uh, this is something that we're launching today. We're really excited. There are a lot of uh, campaigns that we already run. Um, if you're interested in talking to us, uh, we don't have a booth here, but I'll be hanging out in, in the corner. So if you want to talk to me about this, if you're an agency, a brand, or you run a business that you want to run a campaign about, I'm happy to be here. Thank you.